Alright guys, welcome back once again. So I'm uh, sitting here with my friend. She's from uh, India, Pune. Uh, working here in Berlin as a DevOps engineer. Today we are here to know how was your journey all the way from India to Germany. And I would really be interested to know what really happened in the interview room and what did you do after that to get this job what you have, right? Can we quickly start with your uh, professional background? like yeah. uh, everything like right? tell us everything mm -hmm, sure so hi i'm working as a devops engineer here at a german company yeah. and so i started my uh, career in tcs so i got the job through um, campus selection mm -hmm. and there i was working as a system engineer so i worked there for four years mm -hmm. and i was basically working supporting the infrastructure like the windows servers and everything and after that um, I switched, I mean I got transferred and I shifted to Pune mm -hmm. and then uh, I, I got an opportunity to work in Vodafone and there I was working as a Windows administrator but basically I was looking at patching the Windows server and I was really tired of the shifts and all so and um, I started looking out for a new job and then I was looking to enhance my technical skills so then uh, I decided to pursue DevOps, to learn DevOps, and then I started enhancing my skills like Shell Script, Python, AWS, and maybe a few CI/CD tools. I basically took very much effort in learning those skills, and then I finally got placed in HSBC. Mm -hmm. And then my dev DevOps journey started. So right now I have four years of experience in DevOps, and yeah, so here I am. Okay, wow. So would you say because of those four years, you got a job? Yep. Because in total, you have 10 years of experience. Yes, yes, I do have 10 wow. years of experience. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got a job from India directly? Yes, I, I got a job from India. Okay, okay. And how many jobs did you apply then in that case? Countless. You, don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even remember now. No. You see, that's the effort. There are people who whom I get to talk and they're like, Man, I applied for 100 jobs. I'm like, dude, there are people here who apply 100 jobs a day. You know, yes. when they come on a job seekers visa, you know, those mm -hmm. six months visa. Yep, yep. I mean, look look at the experience. Like, you know, she can't even remember the amount of jobs what she applied. And how many were you able to clear or go get through? Some um, levels. Some, I mean, I think four or five, not more than Four or five, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. In terms of your uh, interview process, how many rounds of interview you had? Um, for this job yes i think i had four rounds four rounds of yeah. job. okay before i get to the specifics of interview mm -hmm. can you help my audience maybe to understand what platforms did you use to apply yep so i mainly used linkedin and it's like okay. i applied every day to like hundreds of jobs because i think my um, what i thought is that you should apply even if you find a job description even 50 percent related just go for it because sometimes company don't look for a specific technical skills they look for a person who is well versed to learn new technologies and then apply that knowledge in whatever field you work on mm -hmm. yeah. tell us a bit more about how is the devops market like in germany it's crazy okay the i what, mean what does that mean like more jobs or less jobs? Less okay jobs. Less. Oh, okay. No, less no, jobs. no. I'm sorry. It's more jobs. More jobs. Okay. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. I, <was> like, okay. <laughs> I mean, even though I'm working in a German company, I get tens of my, I mean, every day I get tens of messages like, uh, Hi, you, are you looking for a change right now or something? So it's like, oh my God. I see. Okay. So there are a lot of jobs yes, in the system. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about the interview now. Mm -hmm. You said you had four rounds of interview. Yep. Just walk us through step by step, like in first, second, third, fourth, what exactly happened? Mm -hmm. So the first round was the HR round mm -hmm. where I had conversation with the company HR and we discussed uh, what, what I'm looking for in an employer and what are they looking for. And I mean, if, the, if I'll fit into the company culture and everything. So yeah, that was the first round. And mm -hmm. the second round was the um, challenge round where I was uh, given a challenge to complete within a set of time frame. Mm -hmm. It was a technical challenge, like like I have to make some write some scripts and make it work with uh, some 
description which they wrote in that challenge the third round was the round in which i discussed how did i did to challenge how much time i took there is anything i could improve in that particular challenge mm -hmm. yeah that was like the third round and the fourth was a uh, uh, fourth round was like salary discussion and everything so i yeah. see okay can you talk a bit about the challenge which was given to you or it's like you have to develop a python application and you have to deploy that particular application in aws using terraform okay so that's the kind of challenge i was given okay okay yeah. and if you were to design one now mm -hmm. while we are talking <laughs> as a hiring manager uh -huh. let's say uh -huh. what kind of what kind of task would you design more frankly speaking um so before i interviewed for this company i had gone through many challenges right so if i want to test someone i'll take a time based challenge because there are many companies in germany which take time based challenge so it's like in one hour you have to write a particular script mm -hmm. and make it work so that was really tough No stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't want to know your salary, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of people who are watching us, and maybe they would expect us to give them a range. Mm -hmm. Someone coming with five years of experience, mm -hmm. let's say, let's keep that as a minimum bar. Yeah. What kind of? Give me the window. What they would expect, like forty to fifty, fifty to sixty, seventy. What? What is it? Mm. Keeping Berlin in mind. Berlin, in, yeah. Um, uh, fifty to sixty is 50 to what 60. they can expect if they have five years of experience. But right. it depends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, you know, it totally depends on the city, the state where you go coming to Germany. Yep. You know, um, something what she's getting, um, someone with the same skill sets in Munich, may be getting outrageously more yep. because the city has more expenses, mm -hmm. right? Whereas sure. Berlin is still quite affordable mm -hmm. as a capital, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right now the. current market demand for devops engineer mm -hmm. what skill sets are they really looking for so basically uh, they are looking for a person who is well versed in linux uh, he knows shell scripting in and out and apart from that kubernetes is in real demand like most of the company has have started using uh, kubernetes apart from that you must also know docker and one ci cd tool it can be anything and one cloud technology like aws or google anything. and what you just said you know all of that uh, i don't know kubernetes okay and i know i have worked on aws so yeah mm. one more very important point when your salary range is between 50 to 60 you already fall in the category of blue, blue card, card. Yeah. right now the benefit of having a blue card is it's not like a green card let's not get confused with that it it blue card having a blue card only accelerates the whole process to get to pr the other benefit is if you are married your partner can come on your visa and they can also look for a job here am i right true okay. and plus they they don't need any german language oh yeah the usually otherwise yeah. if your if your salary range is let's say 35000 and you're calling your partner here they would need they they expected to have a1 yeah. level good what advice do you have for all those dev devops engineers who are looking for jobs here in germany while you are here in germany mm -hmm. and people sitting back home they should learn shell script like it is widely used in every company they are using it docker aws and if there is any other technical tool which you want or you are well versed in apart from that i would say that don't lose hope just apply and apply and apply go mental yes <laughs> okay <laughs> go mental uh, yes okay. i mean just never lose hope and if you want it you will get it so yeah as she said don't lose hope keep going hard with that being said that's all what we have uh from berlin if you like this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and uh, thank you so much for coming on my channel and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time bye bye